Hey guys, Random Razor here. How's it going, guys? Got another tech video for you guys today. Uh, it'll be a two part tech video, and it'll just be the comparison of the Microsoft Wireless Laser uh, Keyboard and Mouse Sets 6000 series and the 7000 series. And uh, basically, I'm just going to go through the similarities and difference differences between both keyboard sets and hopefully help you guys decide which one is better to get and whether or not to fork the extra money for the 7000 series uh, keyboard. So, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, then uh, keep watching. But anyways, this will be a two-part video, one on the mouse and one on the keyboard. So uh, look forward for the keyboard ne uh, video next, I suppose. And uh, let's just get started on the uh, mouses. So this one here is the 6000 series mouse, and this one's the 7000 series mouse. They're pretty much identical in design, uh, material and all that, same thing. Um, the only differences are uh, mainly is the aesthetics. On the 6000 series mouse, you have more, you have a satin silver finish along with a, uh, a gray rubber padding on the side and on the uh, 7000 series mostly have a black matte finish with a black rubber uh, siding but they both do offer rubber grips on both sides of the mouse on the 7000 series mouse you have a uh, chrome trim that goes all the way around the mouse which definitely looks really nice especially on the black and on the 6000 series mouse you have a uh, looks like a black looks like a black plastic polish type trim that goes all the way around it and um, Aesthetic wise, obviously, in my opinion, the 7000 series mouse looks a lot better uh, just because of that chrome and definitely uh, makes it look like a really attractive design. Other little differences on the top here is the uh, light on both uh, mouses um, on the 7000 series keyboard, or keyboard, not keyboard, mouse is um, chrome but does light up green and red just to let you know when your batteries are fully charged or uh, dying. And same thing on here except it's not covered in chrome. Scroll wheel is all the same, so got four way scrolling, two main uh, left and right clicks, and um, both mouses do offer two extra buttons on the side here. Uh, this one here is just black, not much of a difference, and um, that's pretty much it for the aesthetics. Now to the bottom of the mouse. Uh, first thing you notice, the 6000 series mouse offers a snap in for your uh, wireless transceiver here to connect it to the uh, computer. And um, the 7000 series mouse doesn't, and that's because it's rechargeable, which I'll get into very soon. On the 7000 series mouse, the uh, laser, where it comes out of, doesn't have a cover on it, or a fancy cover at least. Uh, but the 7000 does, you know, has a little fancy thing on it for those of you who care. Uh, another big thing, 7000 series, 7000 series mouse offers an on and off switch. Uh, this one doesn't. And um, one of the big differences now is the type of batteries I use. The 7000 series mouse uses a AAA rechargeable battery that lasts about a month, while the uh, 6000 series mouse uses two disposable AA batteries that will last you six plus months, which in my opinion is definitely a lot better than recharging this every month. Um, those are the two prongs that connect to your charging bay to charge your 7000 series mouse, and obviously this one doesn't have one because it doesn't recharge. But um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much the main differences between the mouses. Uh, this is the charging bay, and this is the plug that you get with the uh, 7000 series mouse. And um, for functionality, guys, I'd give this to the 6000 series mouse just because you don't have to change these all the time. These will last six months plus, and I guarantee that because I have gone through over six months without changing the batteries, which is a really... Uh, really good thing because you won't have to hassle change the batteries all the time but um, other than that like functionality guys it uses use the same type of laser all you're paying is for um, for the 7000 series mouse is rechargeable uh, capabilities um, you get the on and off switch and um, just a little bit more fancier design so you know again it's just aesthetics and a little bit more functionality but um, I'd give it to the 7000 series mouse if it had like two AA rechargeable batteries then you don't have to charge it all the time you can just use like the charging bay like once a year but unfortunately Microsoft just gives you this little one here but anyways guys um, it's up to you um, if you're using a desktop definitely go with the 7000 series mouse I think it's worth it, it looks really nice chrome finish, chrome finish on it definitely sets it off but if you're using a laptop or something portable or like a netbook I suppose uh, definitely go with the 6000 series mouse it offers a snap-in feature to snap in your uh, transceiver there which makes it carrying it around a lot more easier um, you know if you get this you're gonna have to hog the recharging tray and the plug and you know that's just you know too much to carry around with a portable device 
But, um, you know, again, this does last a month, so I guess you uh, could just carry the mouse alone. But, again, it doesn't offer the uh, snap-in feature whoops, for the uh, transceiver. Anyways, guys, um, they're both nice mouses, but uh, for functionality, I definitely give it to the 6000 series mouse. Uh, if you're using it for a laptop, again, this mouse is definitely the way to go. But if you have a desktop, like uh, this, then uh, 7000 series mouse is uh, my uh, favorite just because of the aesthetics. It looks a lot nicer and um, offers an on and off switch as well, which could uh, extend your battery life. But again, more hassle with the uh, 7000 series mouse than the 6000. All up to you if you want to pay the extra money for this, go for it. But um, overall, I give it to the 6000 series mouse. And um, that will be it for the part one of this video, guys. Uh, next video, I will show you guys the comparison of the 6000 series keyboard and the 7000 series keyboard uh, in my next uh, video for this uh, little two-part series. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope this helped you, helped you guys uh, make a decision. Um, these two mouses do come separate. You can buy them separate without the keyboard. So if you're just looking for a mouse, then um, go for the uh, 6000 series mouse because it's definitely uh, a lot more portable, a lot more convenient, and less of a hassle to uh, maintain. Anyways, again, hope you guys enjoyed this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and hope you guys have a great evening. Peace.